All right, all right, Ooh, all right. Welcome to another episode of the CCBA and the final um, bracket um, selection. And uh, after this, you know, we can start getting ready with the with the, the, the tournament. <laughs> so hey, we we're into the, um, the mid the mid south. The Midland South bracket, which all the games will be played in Winnipeg. Don't ask. <laughs> Winnipeg will show you. Alright, so we're gonna go on and get started with the number four seed. We have Sustanja One. Um they are were one of the bubble teams that got in, coming in at nine and eight. And they their best win is against Calgary and Keanu, and their worst losses come from Simon Fraser, Weston, and um, SAIT, otherwise known as Southern Alberta Institute Tech. <laughs> anyway, uh, now we're going to check out the uh, roster here. And as you can see, they have uh, Tyler at a uh, point guard. They have Bert, Bert, no, Barrett at shooting guard. Uh, Burden at uh, small forward. That Lovelace is power forward on a hot streak. And then their center here is also on a hot streak. And then you have uh, you got Hero. You have Hurt. Denzel Valentine. Carson Edwards, got uh, Simons, uh, uh, this guy right here, oh my, then you have Semi, <laughs> and then you had Edmund, and then in reserve you have uh, Jenkins. And as you see, they have no prospects, no seniors, this is a young team, and hey, who knows, moving on to the number three seed. Which is uh, Shabrook. They come in at 10 and 7. The best wins are against St. Mary's, Prince Edwards Isle, and Montreal Hall. The worst losses is against uh, uh, Carleton, uh, St. Francis, Xavier, and Mount Allison. And looking at their uh, roster, we're going to start off with Mary. Mary, who's the point guard, and who's on the hot street. Then you have Holland, who's a, a prospect, shooting guard, who's on a hot streak. Then you have your small forward, Garland, who's a one and done. <laughs> and then you have uh, your power forward, uh, Collins. And then we have, uh, uh, how you say, uh, Hart, Hart, Hartenstein, Hartenstein, the center. And then... We have uh, Tommy, uh, Timothy, excuse me, Timothy Harden, shooting guard. Then we have uh, Manny uh, Beatty, who's, uh, who's on a high street, shooting guard. And then we have the power forward here. Uh, I cannot pronounce his name, but he is on a cold street. Then we have Johnson, the power forward. Then we have uh, uh, Anthony here, power forward. And then we have uh, uh, Sumner, who's a uh, shooting guard. And we have Archie, who's a uh, power, uh, excuse me, who's a point guard. And then we have um, um, uh, uh, Roy Ellis Jr. And then we have, uh, uh, how you say, Bo, Bojan, Bojan, the number two uh, seed in this bracket and we have uh, McMaster McMaster the uh, Marauders uh, 11 and 6 is uh, their record coming in and their, their best wins are against Muncher Hall, Mount Allison, Shabrook uh, St. Mary's Prince Edward Isles and uh, Wilford they uh, bad wins came against Queens, Windsor, McGill, and uh, Carleton. 
All right, so let's take a quick look at their roster, shall we? And we have uh, at the point guard position, who's uh, also on the hot streak, who's also a one and done. We have Matthew Spencer and shooting guard, who's also on the hot streak, and who's a prospect. We have Carl Livingston. And then we have uh, the uh, small forward. We have um, we had Gabby here, and then we have uh, Turk, and then we have uh, Jenny uh, Valentine here, the center, who's on the hot streak, who's also a prospect. And then we have uh, Willie, who's the backup center, who's on the hot streak. And then we have uh, Darrell. And then we have the point guard, Uncle Joseph. (laughs) Then we got Cash. And then we got uh, Cotton Jr. And then we got Joe uh, Livingston, who is um, Carl's brother, who won't be heading for the draft this year. Then we got Wesley uh, Newton. And then we got uh, uh, Milo, Milo. And then we got uh, in reserve, we got uh, Maverick, Yogi Maverick. I like that name, Yogi Maverick. But anyway, that's uh, the Marauders. And now we are moving on to the number one seed in the Miss in the Midland South. And I know there's a person who's really gonna like this. Uh, selection and that is uh the toronto varsity blue oh toronto and they are in with a 12 and 5 record not bad for a team that started off struggling <laughs> and their best wins are against keanu uh calgary york uh lakehead and substantial one their bad losses came at western uh s-a-i-t and v-i-u and their uh, roster here, starting off with uh, Justin Chris, one of the Chris brothers. Uh, uh, he's the point guard. He's on a hot streak. He's one and done. And then you have uh, his brother James, Chris, shooting guard, hot streak, one and done. Um, then you have a small forward, Tobias Harris, on a hot streak. One, uh, well, he's uh, a prospect. Then you have uh, the power forward, uh, P.J. Washington, who's on the hot streak. Whoa, the whole team's on the hot streak, ain't they? <laughs> and then you have uh, Vincent, the center. And then we got uh, Lou Banks, who's a point guard. Um, you know, his brother plays for the uh, the Snow Cats. <laughs> then you have uh, Brown, shooting guard. Then we got Gary Harris, shooting guard. Then we have uh, Johnson, power forward. Then we have uh, Barry, the shooting guard, who's on a hot streak. Remember him hitting some three-pointers. Then we have uh, Alex, who's a uh, shooting guard. Nigel William Doss, power uh, point guard. See, I be wanting to say power guard, but I don't know for some reason. Point guard. And then we have Doritos, <laughs> power forward. And then we have uh, uh, reserves. We got uh, Arnold, shooting guard. And then we have Hard- Pardue, who's a uh, center. And that uh, does it with the selection there. Um, now we're just looking at the bracket itself. And honestly, it's going to come down between uh, McMasters and Toronto. At least that's how it looks like to me. Because I like both these teams. I like uh, their players. I like the way they play. I think both these teams are pretty good. And who knows? Might be good enough to win it all. But like I said before, do not sleep on the four seeds. Remember, uh, I think Toronto was a one seed last season and got kicked off. So, hey man. Just because you you the number one seed don't mean it's automatic. You got to get in there and you got to you got to make it work. But anyway, that's it. That's the final bracket. Uh, it's 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 time to play. <laughs> and uh, 
So I already had to uh, go so long with trying to get these brackets done, but hey, it's, it's, it's now done. Now it's ready to start playing. And um, overall, if I was to say myself, and you know, I like for people to make a comment and uh, you know, give me who they think the four teams is gonna gonna make it to the big four. I'm just going by uh, who I feel like probably are the best teams. Uh, I think Humber. I'm looking at Humber coming out of the coming out of the Atlantic East. Uh, I'm looking at Montreal Hall coming out of the Pacific West. I'm looking at uh, let's see. This is, this is, um, I'm I'm looking at Thunder Bay. I really am. I think Thunder Bay has the best chance of coming out the Great North. And I'm looking at Toronto coming out the Midland South. But, like I said, those are my picks. Uh, that don't mean it's going to happen. <laughs> but that's what I'm looking at. So, hey, if you uh, have a, a, a uh, opinion on who you think going to be the big four, hey, uh, make a comment, man. Let me know. Let me know how you feel on the subject. Uh, it's going to be a couple of days before we actually get going, but when we do, hey, it's going to be non-stop. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, we're going to have all eight games on the first video, and then we're just going to work our way down. All right, so thanks for watching, and, um, and we'll catch you in the next video. Good one. Stay safe.